Hey guys, my name is James Mason. In this video, we're going to talk about Active Trader and how it will help you out with your trades. And it's also a great tool to pair with, you know, your level twos and and a couple other things I'll, I'll show you uh, later on. So you have your charts open, and let's just say you already have. Your level two up this is your level two so you click on this sidebar that opens up level two and this one is obviously your chart and I have dashboard open as well just I like to see the bigger numbers here but up here it's called active trader so click on that and this is active trader so I'm going to show you how to set this up to where it will benefit you in your trades. So once you have this open, come up here, click on this little wheel. Go right here because in all honesty, there's not many times you actually want to use the buy market or sell market orders. So we will highlight both of them and remove these. Over here, we're going to click buy the ask. We're going to send this over and then we're going to come down here and we will sell the bid. So if you guys hear all that racket in the background, I apologize. I have a thunderstorm coming over right now. So go over here. We will highlight both of these. And once you have them highlighted, click move up. We're going to move them up to the very top right here and let me just look at this really quick okay so we have everything in there that we want so click OK and this will come up now once this comes up we're gonna click right here that will open this box up so now when you're looking at this and you want to make an order as this is going throughout the day and what I do a lot of times is I wait for my charts to move and I usually just either you know just buy this ask or I'll either sell the bid and it, it works out usually pretty well for me where I can usually for the most part fill my order immediately because I'm, I'm actually, you know, either buying right into this or I'm selling right into this. And so that's kind of the benefit for when you're trading. If you're actually, you know, using that style that I'm talking about. If you're looking down here at your level twos and say you have 1,000 shares, which is the quantity I have up in here right now. If you look down here, this says 10. But when you see this number, you always put two more zeros behind that and that is actually what is being offered right here on this top row for that price so if I have a thousand shares or if I want to buy 1,000 shares and we'll just say okay we'll just say um we want to sell 1,000 shares that we have well here's an order of somebody that has 1,000 shares to buy. So this is their offer and we have 1,000 shares. So we can sell right into that bid. So I would just click this because I'm you know, selling them 1,000 shares and it will fill this right here on the level two. And that's how you fill your orders pretty quick. Now you also have to take into consideration there are other people as well trading at the same time as you are and that's why volume is always key in your trades and when you have a bunch of people either you know on both sides buying and selling it makes the trade a lot you know more fluid so things will move just smooth so as we go back up here if you don't want you know 1000 shares or whatever you know you can obviously change it right there or you know click on 
these are little hotkeys and that will change it for you or you can just come over here and you know up or down so at this point let's look over right here at template and this will help a lot of you out for you know the ones that set in like hard stops for stop losses um, and you'll see here in a second so right now it says single what this means is when you put in an order actually we'll just go over to on demand but let's first change this ticker you know to something a little better so we'll just put in Twitter all right so we'll open up on demand okay so on demand is up and running now and we'll just kind of you know let this run and like I was saying a second ago here's the level two and you know as you can see right right there that's let me pause this you know that that's not 911 shares that is actually 91,100 shares over here that's actually 20,000 shares so always put two zeros behind whatever number is up here and that's that's what I was saying like it's it's easy if you're watching level two and you have either a hundred shares a thousand shares whatever it may be to watch this and if you're at the right price for whatever it is that you're doing to actually sell right into that so back up here again if you just have this set as single this is basically gonna just be a single transaction that's what that means now over here this is auto send so you know when you actually like come down here and you'll hit you know like the buy or sell and this will come up and you know you'll click confirm and this little box comes up well you know that takes time now of course it takes like one second but for a trader like me when I play you know honestly within the seconds especially when I day trade a lot of times I day trade off the one minute chart and so that one second could you know could make the difference in me getting the best price that I could so if you actually click this and honestly I would not recommend this until you are familiar and have at least paper traded using this because once you click this and then have this order in up here and you either click either the buy or the sell that's it like it had done sent that thing and it is processing and you can't take it back especially if you're you know like I said you know selling into the bid selling into the bid or the ask like you are literally clicking that and it is buying or selling so again you know just get familiar with this before you start using this auto send and if you actually go up here into the setup and application settings and go over here to active trader and this should be your default settings so already it should be set up like this but you know just take a peek up here just to make sure because you don't want to find out in a real trade if you decide not to paper trade with this first to practice so basically what this is saying is after you make every order it is it's gonna reset for you which really is kind of a good thing and just click apply settings and the reason why I say it's a good thing is because if you are not paying attention 
you can get so screwed up. So, and I'll actually, you know, show you how all this would work. So we'll we'll turn this back on, and we'll just do we'll just buy 100 shares. So you know, watch how quick this actually fills. See, I mean, it literally I clicked it, and it sent it. So now we have 100 shares. You know, so even though this is kind of redundant on my part where I have this down here and this up here, I, I kind of like to have this down here just because it I, I can actually see what the ask price is and what the sell price is. Now obviously it's over here as well, but I like to have those bigger numbers in my face. So, you know, it's the same thing up here. These just, you know, quick keys. So now I'm just going to sell the 100 shares. And it sold right into it. Now, let's go down here and let's see. Let's pause this one second. All right, let's change tickers to something a little bit more expensive so I can demonstrate this. So, what is Netflix? NFL X, I think. Okay. Give this a second to load up. All right. So with Netflix, you we have nine thousand three hundred shares up here that someone has an order in, and over here somebody is actually selling 100 shares so what we're gonna do because to show you this how this works is I'm gonna put in a order for we'll do well yeah they only give you actually a hundred thousand dollars of fake money for the paper trading so I wouldn't be able to afford that so um we'll just do we'll just say 300 shares all right so it actually should reject this because there's 100 shares offered for this price and I'm trying to buy 300 Ah. So actually, obviously I was completely wrong with that. There was a uh, 100 shares up for sale and I purchased 300 shares immediately. So when you're actually trading real money, it would have put up an order right here until 300 shares could have been bought for that price that you had entered it in at. So, you know, paper trading is something that I haven't done really in a long time. So, you know, my apologies for being a little rusty on it. But the system is all the same. So, anyways, let's just go ahead and we'll just sell this. You know, the loss doesn't matter. It's fake money. So, we'll sell it and... You know, it immediately sold. We got rid of it. So, you know, that's how this auto sell works. Now, like I said, if you're not familiar with this, keep that clicked off. Because what it should do now is I should click on it, and right here you see the box come up. So it, this is kind of an extra layer of just double checking to make sure it is what you want to do. So this um, for template single. What that means is we'll say we'll, let's just let's put in an order and 
that's basically what single is. So we'll put it in the order for. We'll just put zeros there. And we'll confirm this and send it. <clears throat> so that's what single means right here. It just puts up this single order. Now, I'm going to cancel this. And we'll get into what this is actually beneficial for. So if you click on this, you open it up. If you look right down here, this means trigger with brackets. So for the people who like to put in stop losses and everything, which is, you know, it is very good, especially if you are not sitting in front of your monitor day trading like I am. That's why I don't put in like actual hard stop losses because I sit here and I monitor one stock when I'm in that trade. So I can control you know what what's going on with my trade now could it completely tank out absolutely but at the same time if it tanks out and it had it drops so hard to you know past the number that I would normally sell sold at if I would have had a stop loss in there anyways it would have blew past my stop loss and would have sold off whenever it could have so that's the way I see it and it works for me because, I, like I said, I sit here the whole day watching my monitor. Now, this is very beneficial for those who are not doing that like I am or who are swing trading. So you come right here. Well, right over here. Well, let's start right here. I'm sorry. You know, if you only want to use one of these, you'll just click right here. That will turn it off. Or if you want to use both of them, have the check in both both boxes. Now over here, this is a limit order. And if you don't know what a limit order is, if you go back to my other video where I talk about what is a market order and limit order, I explain it in there for you. Now this one right here, this is a stop loss. And it's great to honestly have both of these in here or both of them you know checked and using both of them so up here you know just make sure you have the quantity that you want to buy we'll just change this to 100 and see so come right here and you'll click twice on it make sure it is to that percentage mark and if you want to be, you know, very conservative, let's change this to, we'll change it to 2%. And what this represents, or, yeah, what this means is basically wherever you buy in at, if you lose 2% or more, it will trigger it to sell for you. And that's why it's called a stop loss. Now up here, you can kind of do the same thing, but if the stock is running up, you know, why would you really sell it? You know, you know what I'm saying? But again, I might see it differently because I, I sit here all day and watch this. And I, I follow indicators and charts. And that is what it tells me to make my sell. So we'll just set this at 2% and this right here, hmm. We'll just set this up to something just extremely high. We'll just put in $10. Now, like I said, because I sit here again all day, I'm going to click this and turn it off because this wouldn't matter to me. If you wasn't sitting at your computer all day, you know, you could, you know, put in basically like if you're, say you're trading a lower cap stock and you want to sell, 
when you have a 10 cent profit what you would do then is you would make sure this is on and then go over here delete this out and you would put type in for 10 cents 0.1 so what this setup right here would mean is you know basically if you lost two percent of your trade it would sell that would trigger your stop loss if you met your goal for that trade per share per share at let's just say 10 cents it will sell so this is beneficial for you if you are not actively sitting in front of your computer now you could also do it the same as you know the percentage as well you know it, it's really it really just depends on what you want so like I said just for demonstration I'll just put in 10 you know just a crazy high number that I know won't trigger as I'm showing you this so I'll start this back up and right here like when I highlight this it actually shows you if you look over here it shows you where these cells would happen so it says it will trigger at minus two percent and trigger at a gain of ten dollars per share so we're gonna buy this we bought 100 shares and that's our average and basically you would just wait that you know for if it either hit you know your percentage loss of minus two percent or if it went up here and you met your goals it would automatically sell off for you so like I was saying earlier when we went up here and looked at that setting to make sure that it would reset it went back to single up here so if you wanted to go in here and change this to adjust these sell orders right here you know you could either go back in here and you know do it again but before you get that far ahead not I wanted to say it like that first so I could show you this next before you get that far ahead you either have to come over here and click to close these out you know, to, to either delete them or you can move them up and down to whatever you want and if you look like right here that will tell you what it is let me cancel this so if you look at that number it changes as I move it and as soon as you let go of your mouse it it will drop it right there and so again when you when I was talking as also about this auto send if you are not completely comfortable with this yet it's best to not have this box checked because if you had that checked as soon as you drop that let's just say it's around this candlestick right here if you dropped it it automatically sells for whatever but with this being unchecked I let go of it it did throw this box back up just to verify this is what I want to do and you know what I can actually show you what that is so I have it up here it's let's see we are at mm, I'll just put it up here for minus two percent so this is it's at 368 so I'm just gonna drop it and, okay yeah because that was over two percent and I dropped it and let's just say that was an accident for you if if you had this little thing checked right here and you're just moving it around you're not paying attention and you drop it and it sells like that you know that could completely mess up your trade for you so again you know make sure you are comfortable with all of this over here before you start using it especially the auto send this is probably what actually 
not probably this is the most dangerous you know part of this tool right here it's this auto send so make sure again that you are good on this before you actually start using it so you saw that actually sell and now let's look at let's see let's um let's make another buy really quick oh uh, let me actually go ahead and show you how to save this I forgot that a second ago I'm sorry so back to your percentage and we'll change that to you know I'll just say 2% you can change it to whatever you feel comfortable with and I'll change this to really I'll just put 10 again it don't matter so whenever you have these settings the way you want it click right here and you can save it so we'll just name it we'll name this one you know demo and click save and the reason why you want to save those settings is because once this resets after your order triggers it'll come back to single single and what you'll want to do if you want to use those same settings again you'll click on that and there you go you have it right here so I'll open that up again and I'm just gonna make another buy So just waiting for this order to fill. We got it set at 365.37. It just filled. And I have my stop loss in for minus 2% and my sell order for $10 profit per share. So let's just say I get into a panic and I'm losing money you know and basically I'm not happy with this percentage loss whatever and I'm you know I'm not thinking clearly and I go in here and I just click sell and we just go to sell our 100 shares okay so we just sold those 100 shares but the thing is now because you did not clear these out what's gonna happen is when you say move this up here we'll just move this up here for demonstration once the, that candlestick breaks past these thresholds and it triggers them because these are actually sell orders it will actually put you into a short as you can see so these candlesticks like even though I just moved this up there that was just to simulate the candlesticks going past those thresholds and because you did not cancel those manually it triggered it and now you are into a short sell so if you are using these templates and you get into a panic and then just make a a normal sell if you do not come in here and cancel the orders that you already had in place those orders will still be active so this is why it's so important to pay attention and paper trade to get familiar with this system right here this system it is outstanding once you know it and it works great but like I just showed you guys hold on, let me go ahead and just clear that like I just showed you guys if you already have shares bought 
and that's you used you know this template like that and you don't come in here and clear these orders first before you sell those orders will still be active and you can sell your shares but whenever this price hits these numbers it will trigger it will trigger you into a short sell and that is the last thing that you want to happen especially when it wasn't planned out so the single one is just for a normal buy and sell so you'll just click that confirm it will buy and sell and this is you know again used for buying into the ask or the bid you can still come out down here and put in a normal limit order you know it just depends on what you're trying to do so that's a single the bracket you know it, it automatically once you adjust your settings the way you want it will and save it make sure you save it it will it'll already be in place and that way you don't really have to watch it so this is why I say this part up here is very beneficial it can literally do your trade for you so you know you already have your stop loss in you have your sell order in you could just go ahead and buy it and walk away as long as you don't come in here and do a manual sell at some point after that without canceling those other orders so next let's talk about this this is you know a lot like the level two basically the level two just looks like this and it's easier to read over here but over here this actually highlights the price that it is at at that moment as you can see it jumps around all the time and in these boxes it actually shows the orders that are currently in so over here for the ask if you compare the numbers they're over here as well the same right over here for the bid so as this you know number for the price of this stock is moving around it will go up and down this trade ladder and let's see since we already have 100 shares how you can use this as well if you're not using this up here you just click into you know this box or one of these boxes you look at that price and we'll just say you know we, we have 100 shares and that's our average price so 364.86 so we want to do a sell and 365.18 is definitely a lot more than our minimum because when you put in a sell order the sell order is just saying that this is the least amount that I'm willing to take for these shares so second that price dipped on me real quick so I'm just going to trigger this you know go underneath and just to trigger it so you come right here we have you know this will highlight it says sell 100 shares and we'll just click and we'll it will confirm and it will it will send it in so now right here because the price that went below what I said was my minimum now the candlestick just has to go back up and right there because that order that I actually used to sell was these brackets up here and since I you know actually manually sold them it has two buy orders in here so what will happen is once these candlesticks get below or past these thresholds it will trigger a sell and that is not what I want to do 
So the importance in if you make a manual cell and you've used these is to make sure you clear out these orders. Now once you have this on single, you're fine. So again, you would just click just like a normal cell and you would have your shares and or normal buy and you have your shares and that. So just practice with this. Make sure you are familiar with it before you actually use it. So definitely do a lot of paper trading. Get familiar with it. You will make mistakes if you do not practice with, with this. Especially with the auto send. Because if you have this clicked, none of that you know secondary confirmation pops up. And when you hit buy or sell, that's it. So if you're thinking, if you're sitting there, let's just say you're buying a low cap stock and you're not paying attention over here and you're looking for why is that box not coming up over here and you just keep clicking this thing, you're not paying attention right here either. Man, you done racked up all these shares. So. You know again just make sure you practice with this before you actually start utilizing it with real money so just a quick recap up here you can change your quantity you can change it right here as well you have your buy the ask sell the bid which is selling into you know buying into the ask selling into the bid right here whatever this price is on the top. Down below, this is your you know, trading tree. These numbers will continuously toggle up and down based on the price of that stock in that moment. And right here, this is the, the orders for the ask price. You can scroll up and see where you know these orders are set up at. Same over here for this bid price. So, you know, if you're looking at this and <clears throat> you see somebody sitting, let's pause this, sitting right there, that's, you know, 20,300 shares right there at $364.94. Depending on the volume of the stock, how this is moving, you know, that could be a huge resistance if you see a big number right here because to break past that you have to somebody has to eat up all those shares to move beyond that over here you see a huge number this could be a support so to break past this support you know these numbers have to be eaten up or or they basically either have to just change their order for both sides so that's how you use this and I hope this can help you out. This tool right here, Active Trader, is very beneficial. I actually I love it. In my videos I, that I've recorded for you guys so far, I haven't used it yet because I didn't want to confuse anybody and have them you know, see this and try to mimic it. Because if you're not familiar with it, it will destroy you. So again, my name is James Mason. I you know greatly appreciate you watching this video and I hope you continue to watch the rest of these lessons and if you if you liked any of these you know please subscribe to my page my channel and give these videos a thumbs up for me I would appreciate it I'll see you in the next one thank you